Hi, I'm Rodney Thomas, owner of College Funding Awareness and Service Team. I work with local families trying to figure out how they're going to pay for college in a comfortable way, um, in the most efficient or effective way for them. One of the things I do with families is take them through a process to figure out how they're going to pay for college and look at what they're currently doing. Part of the process is look at their circle of life, what I call. And with the circle of life, basically what we're trying to do is help them visualize of what they're doing financially and see if it's really what is going to help them get through this process of paying for college or not. So most families I come across, they're around 45 years old is the age of the oldest parent. On their circle, which helps them go through into retirement, in retirement for most families they're looking at about 62 to 65 years old right now. So if they're 65 in retirement, Basically, they have 20 years to get to that point. And unfortunately, everyone that I've come across has a, a decent guide or a mindset of what they want in retirement. But when we're talking about college, college is really first on their circle right now. So if their college expenses are here and their retirement is here on their circle, a lot of people have money saved up for retirement. They don't have money saved up for college. And the question is why? You know, and additionally, once they get beyond college, they have other goals that they're trying to do, other expenses that are going to come through their circle of life. There's going to be maybe that wedding for their children. Maybe it's a dream vacation that they're going to want to take to reward themselves once they get their children through college. There's always going to be an emergency that pops up. There's going to be maybe a vacate or a, sorry, there's going to be um, grandkids that they want to spoil. So this is just to help to illustrate that there's a lot of expenses that goes on even before college. And unfortunately, you can't do a college plan in a bubble. You have to do everything together. So the best plans that we've come up with to help a family figure this out is to just look at all these expenses that they're going to incur even before they even get to retirement. So maybe not even focus solely on retirement because the best retirement planning is going to be your worst college planning. And the best college planning, if you do that by itself, is maybe detriment your retirement savings. So the idea is to figure out how you're going to get through this circle of life and accomplish everything in a, an effective way. Um, that's basically a concept that we go through. Hopefully this helps you. The next part that we're going to talk about uh, in the future is going to be headwinds and tailwinds. So financially, things that are going to help you get to your journey, things that are going to help or hurt your chances of getting there.